Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Dublin. I'm here on holiday with my husband Fabiano. We've done a wonderful tour all around Ireland and in these days we are going to visit all the vintage stores and charity shops that I selected here in Dublin. The first store that we are going to visit is the Dublin Vintage Factory. I just can't wait to find some outstanding pieces of clothing, so come with us and let's start shopping. Here it feels like being in the 80s, that's so cool! And of course there is also the upper floor to explore. These tie-dye t-shirts are not my style, but I could wear one as a pyjama. Do good, feel good, donate blood. Okay, I like that they spread positive messages and they are 5 euros each. Ok, let's go up to the first floor where we can find much more choice. This is a kilo shop, so you have to weight the pieces and then you pay 20 euros per kilo. I've made some other videos about vintage kilo sales, so if you're curious, check them out. I am always looking for true vintage pieces, but I also like to thrift for second-hand pieces, such as the jacket that I'm wearing right now, that is by Woolrich and I got it at the charity shop for only 20 euros. It has been such a great bargain. Look at all these raincoats! <laughs> the Irish weather is unpredictable, so this is a useful item to always have at hand. Fabiano had the same idea. Of course we already have our raincoats, but this blue keyway is nice. I like this sweatshirt by Adidas. It weighs half a kilo, so it's 10 euros, but it's not in perfect conditions, so I guess I'm going to leave it here. So I don't like how they hang skirts, because in this way they seem like shirts. Anyway, my favorite one is this last yellow one with pockets. The rack is stuffed with shirts and I'm not able to show you the pieces properly, but I can see some pretty patterns here. Oh, vintage blazers! I'm always on the hunt for colored blazers and this red coat is beautiful, but it's too big for me. Ski suits from the 80s, so cool, but not very practical. If you come to Dublin, this shop is definitely worth a visit, but I need to be very picky because we have done a lot of vintage shopping during this holiday and we don't have much space left in our suitcases. In the city center, you can reach by foot many vintage stores and charity shops. There's plenty of choice. And this is the NCBI shop that we have visited in the first episode of our trip here in Ireland. On the opposite side of the street, there is this Enable Ireland. Uh, let's have a look. Here I see many second-hand pieces, but I can't spot anything vintage. I'm always on the hunt for home decor pieces, and these pillows are very cool. Of course, I could bring home only the pillowcases. Thank you. 
I like this floral dress by Zara. I need more long sleeve dresses uh, to use during fall. This one is only uh, 6 euro 90, but it's slightly too big for me. I love kimono jackets and robe style garments. This one is by Twin Set. It has beautiful colors and would be perfect to wear at home. And for 7 euros 50, I don't know why I left it there. Another rain jacket, this is by Super Dry. I like it, but I think it's too sporty for me. They also have a designer brand's rack. So exciting! Jacques Ver. Do you know this brand? Kate Cooper. Does anyone know about these brands? Okay, so I'm honest, I was hoping to find true designer pieces, but unfortunately I couldn't find any here. Well, let's try another charity shop. Here I can see a vintage window setting, so I hope to find more vintage pieces. Fabiano has to be very patient today because we have many other shops to visit. I'm drawn to these shiny things. This sweater is by ASOS and has an amazing color, but I don't know, I have too many pink sweaters. If you like shopping for secondhand and vintage clothes, please consider subscribing to this channel. I've got many great ideas for new videos, so I would be happy if you stick around. A yellow shirt from Pretty Little Thing. Uh, this is nice, but I think maybe it would be too large. Finally, I found a piece that I love. It's a floral red and gold trench coat. Lately I'm into this kind of coats uh, with the tight waist, uh, I think they are very feminine. Mm. This trench coat makes me happy, so I'm going to buy it. Other stores are coming up next, but if you're planning to come to Dublin, I also suggest visiting the Guinness Storehouse. It's a very commercial place, but it's a great example of industrial restoration. There's the beer museum inside, and the best part of the visit is when you get to the rooftop. From the gravity bar, you can enjoy the most amazing view of the whole city, and of course you can drink a pint of Guinness. This is the following day, we are visiting a couple of vintage shops, starting from the famous Nine Crows. Well, the mannequins are not really my style. Luckily inside there is a great variety of styles and everything is vintage or vintage inspired. This leather jacket is 75 euros. I love colored leather jackets, but also this classic natural leather jacket is very nice. But it's 55 euros and it has a broken zip. Okay, so this wool vest is amazing. I'm always drawn to these patterns, very vintage, and I'm looking for bright colors to jazz up some winter outfits.
oh, this one is cool. Maybe the colors are a bit too contrasting for me, but these are all true vintage pullovers and they are made of quality wool. This one is 32 euros. You know that I love vintage scarves, especially the thick ones, and uh, this one has a pretty print. These orange linen trousers remind me of the pair of trousers that I showed you this summer in that video with the holiday outfits. I'm always on the hunt for nice colored pants. Next stop was going to be this Tola vintage, but it seems a maid's clothing shop, so I guess we'll skip this visit. There is also another Tola vintage a few minutes walking from the previous one. This Lucy's vintage was very promising, but I discovered that the vintage clothing section is open only a few days every week, and of course today was not the right day. It's time to say goodbye to Ireland and fly back to Italy, where I will show you my home. Here I am back at home. Thank you for coming along with us in our trip to Ireland. It has been a wonderful holiday. I've made the other two videos there. So um, if you're curious to see us going around, just sightseeing and doing a lot of vintage shopping, uh, you can find the videos in my channel. So check them out. Now it's time to show you a small haul with all the things that I bought from the shops that you've seen in this video. I would have bought more things, of course, if I had more time, if uh, we had more space in our suitcases but uh, our suitcases were already filled with all the stuff that we purchased during the holiday um, so yeah it's a small haul okay let's start with this floral red and gold trench coat I don't really know this brand but I think it's so cute I fell in love with it and I think this shape fits well with my body shape. So yeah, let's style it with some other things that I bought from charity shops and vintage stores. I will tell you about each piece when, when you see them. I'm going to follow the color palette of the trench with this pretty pink shirt with swallows. It's a vintage piece that I got for only 3 euros from a local Italian charity shop. Then I thrifted my closet and found these green tights that I haven't used for a while now. Let's wear the trench coat. I am in love with this floral pattern. I think it will be perfect for both fall and spring outfits. As you've seen, the original belt is missing, so I added an elastic belt with a golden buckle that reminds me so much of Chanel. This makes a huge difference, don't you think? Now let me show you a beautiful piece that I have ordered from Vinted. It's a vintage silk scarf by Christian Dior. Look at this wonderful and delicate print. It's amazing. And I'm so happy to add this to my collection of vintage scarves. I'm going to wear it around my neck to bring out the pink color of the flower pattern on the trench coat. Then I chose this green vintage velvet bag by Roberta Di Camerino that I recently restored because it had some signs of use on the handles. And so this is the outfit and I like it so much. Then I got this beautiful multicolored checkered print dress. Um, I got it from a shop uh, where they didn't let me film, so you didn't see it in the video. But I got it for um, 18 euros, 16 euros, something like that. And uh, it is a vintage uh, piece from the 80s I think just because uh, yeah the label seems from the 80s and it still has the tag on so the brand is Fallet I don't know it and the retail price was 69 
something, I guess, pounds. And uh, then it was discounted to 29 pounds. Uh, and then I got it for 16 euros. Um, yeah, but nobody has ever used it. So let's see how it fits. This pattern is very cool. When I saw it, I decided to buy it right away. Wearing this dress, I feel like a country girl ready for a picnic on the grass. I am wearing blue tights and this pair of blue leather ankle boots. They were a lucky find from a local charity shop. I got them for only 10 euros and they are so comfortable. Then, since fall is here, I chose this jacket. I think you've already seen it before and I like how the light blue matches with the colors of the dress. I picked a red silk scarf from my collection. This one has no brand, but it is very thin and soft. I also have a red bucket bag that I bought in Paris a few years ago and here it is. I love these colors together. So as I told you in the other video, um, I was looking for something very traditional from Ireland, maybe something like a clothing piece or an accessory. And in almost every souvenir shop they were selling wool things and tweed fabrics. Um, so I spotted these hats. I obsessed with hats um, but they were so pricey it, they were between 55 and 75 euros and I thought it was too much so I decided to look online if I could find a second-hand one and uh, I ordered it from Vinted and uh, when we came back home the packaging was uh, already waiting for me outside the door so here it is it's a 100% wool hat made in Ireland. The brand is Hannah Hats Tweed Patchwork. I think it's brand new and the size is S and it fits me perfectly. Uh, I love it so much because of its colors that match well with uh, almost all my coats. So yeah, let's style this up. In this outfit, I'm wearing the pink shirt that you've seen before and a pair of brown wide leg trousers. I got them for only three euros always from the charity shop and they are by Marella, so they are great quality. This light pink belt looks perfect with the shirt. Together with the trousers I got a velvet blazer by Lazzari, which is an Italian very expensive brand, and the brown color matches quite perfectly with the trousers, so finding them together, both in my size, <laughs> that has been a very lucky day. I have these brown ballerinas by Salvatore Ferragamo. I love them so much and paid only 12 euros for them, but they are slightly small for me, so I guess I'll have to let them go. I wanted to use them for this outfit, but the trousers are so long, <laughs> I guess I'll need high heels. Here they are, olive green leather boots from Etro, another lovely pair of ankle boots that I will resell on Vinted, just because they are a little too small for me. But they were 10 euros so I'll be able to make a profit from them and uh, yes the heels have the right height. Now I'm making a side soft braid and uh, secure it with an invisible hairband. And here is my patchwork flat hat or newsboy hat. It's made of wool and comes from Donegal that is a region of Ireland that we visited during our trip. Let's pick another scarf. I have this vintage one by Mario Valentino that I found at the flea market for a couple of euros. It's in mint conditions and it's made of cotton. Okay, short story time. About a year ago I bought a leather briefcase by The Bridge to use uh, to go to work and I loved it so much but it was too heavy for me. It was really hurting my shoulder. So as Fabiano loved it as much as I did, I decided to give it to him as a part of the Christmas gift. Then he had the great idea to leave it in the car while he was shopping at the grocery store and somebody cracked the uh, glass of the car and stole the bag. I was so disappointed. I would never leave my bag inside the car while I'm shopping. <laughs> well, he is a man. He, he does such things. Dimmi. Dimmi. Vuoi venire qua? Vieni. Dai. Ciao, Isotta. Hi. 
Well, Fabiano asked me to find him another leather briefcase, uh, a second-hand one, unvinted, and I found it. I purchased it. When I received it, I discovered that it was the smaller size. <laughs> this is very feminine. I think the other one was really bigger, and this one is, is lightweight. So I thought maybe this was meant to be for me. So I went online and I purchased another bigger one. So you can see the difference. Uh, didn't want to scare you, is that that? <laughs> so here they are. This is for me, this is for him, and we are both happy with our leather briefcases. Here I am with my new leather briefcase. Finally, I'm so happy to have it and it matches well with this masculine outfit. Grazie mille, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Um, just remember to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. This will really help my channel to grow. And uh, leave a comment down below telling me which one was your favorite item or if you liked the outfit. Have a great day and I will see you soon in my next video. Ciao!